Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, I'd like to talk about how you can use your projector and while keeping the budget low as a monitor. Basically, when you think about a monitor or gaming solution for your PC or your game console, you think about a monitor or a TV. You got two options. When it comes down to the monitor, you would go for most likely a gaming monitor, which like 144 hertz, 240, or even six, uh, 360 hertz these days, very high end. And the low latency, like one milliseconds to four milliseconds, these are the standards probably for the gaming monitors. Yes, you might, uh, you know, give up some of the colors from IPS to go to the TN side, or these days some VA panels delivers good quality with colors and brightness levels. But basically, what I'm going to teach you in this video, do you really need a monitor? I'm not against the monitors, but when it comes down to the choice of a monitor to connect to your laptop or your PC setup or even your console, you might think again, because if you want to buy a gaming monitor, their prices are higher than regular monitors like cheap level, higher uh, latency and low hertz level monitors, the gamer monitors are more expensive. When you spend that amount of money, you can buy a cheap entry-level TV. I know the cheap entry-level TV, smart TV, won't give you the same amount of specs like higher uh, density level on the screen. For example, if you play 24 inch of screen with a 2K resolution or a full HD resolution, it is not the same with the full HD TV of 32 inch or 40 inch. I know because of the pixel density is not going to be the same because the screen is bigger and the pixels are now like enlarged. But think again, for 32 inch level, full HD, I know it's a little bit of getting big for your eyes taste if you're into monitors and just sharp images, but less than 32 inches, like 27, full HD is more than enough for most of the people. So you're most likely looking at the uh, response time and the hair levels and the G-Sync FreeSync technologies. So if you don't want any kind of like cracks in the videos when it plays, when you're gaming, like sh uh, sheer effect, uh, so you might need to use G-Sync and FreeSync. A lot of the projectors don't have those technologies. So you have to give up some stuff when you're going to go to the projector area. But what you will gain? you will gain something like this. This is a 31, 30, 31 inch size of image. The distance between the projector and the wall is 90 centimeters. This is uh, one boo T2 Max new 450 lumens of LED projector. But you can have shorter throw projectors. So you can create a similar image in a half the distance, maybe even more. Optoma, I believe some ultra short or sorry about that, not ultra short, but Optoma probably have some sort of a LED short throw projector. So you, you can get away with the 50 or 60 centimeter length from the wall and create a similar image with those style projectors. But you'll be paying higher prices, of course, compared to one bull. But you'll get bright picture and you'll get the distance of a table because most of the uh, teenager room setup is containing like a one bed and some wardrobe and small desk. So if you have a small space, then the 50 or 60 centimeter IKEA table space will be enough with the short throw projectors. But if you don't have a short throw, your, your ratio will be similar probably uh, with this one booty two max new. I reviewed this projector and I love it. So I most of the time use it in the bedroom setup with the Xbox Series X, or I just want to play movies while on the bed before I sleep. So these uh, things are creating pretty wild, sharp images. Let me just show you how bright the image is. I'm going to go a little bit of forward. Sorry about that, a commercial at light. But the main issue right now you're seeing the light is coming on my right and image even though image is bright you're thinking it's not a bright image because it's filling also the bright lights filling the room and the wall is white so it's not ideal let me just close the light and show you the quality 
This is how bright it is. It is overexposed, as you see on the highlight areas. So this is a very bright picture. So you don't have to darken your room like in this setup. Fully darkening your room is not the option here. If you go this size, you don't have to do anything extra. You just have to use your projector as a monitor for 30 inches. And it's more than enough for any kind of gameplay. But if you want to a little bit of wider, maybe even shorter range throw projectors, and if you want to go bulb style, you can do that. But in this video, I am focusing on $150, $180 or $200, $250 at tops LED projectors. Because if you buy LED projectors, small ones, you can't place them anywhere. These are bookshelf style projectors. So if you have some sort of a bookshelf, you can turn this thing to the other wall and you can create 100 inch of image. You can also rotate them and place them like a ceiling and you can get yourself a 100 inch of image. The only thing that you need to have is just a small tripod to, you know, rotate the stuff. But basically you can create 100 inch image even in the smallest room to the ceiling. So no monitor will give you the big size and adventure qualities of the big size. You, you're going to see the dream car of yourself, like when you're game playing with the same size of a real car, or you're going to watch your game character in the same, same size of a real person. So that just brings you into the action. What you will lose, the response time, the hair levels. But if you're not a true competitive gamer, like FPS games or any kind of action, fast paced action games, then you might skip this idea. But let me just remind you, you can also think about a TV too in this setup. No monitor will give you the speaker quality of probably basic TV because speakers of the monitors are just for giving a little bit of audio but this thing has two of three watts of speakers inside so believe me when i say so in the bedroom when i'm quite close to this thing like this 50 centimeters or 80 or one meter this is more than enough and it's giving even enough base for that distance but if you're far away like watching 100 inch of image then you might want to consider your connecting your earbuds or your bluetooth uh, earbuds or your headphones. So one other advantage of these devices, this small LED projectors, they tend to have 3.5 millimeter jack. You can connect your earbuds, even if you don't have a Bluetooth setup. But if you have a Bluetooth setup, then you have uh, just, you have to connect one Bluetooth uh, gamepad to your PC or laptop or your console, and then connect your console's uh, gamepad or just via connect from the Bluetooth uh, earbuds or headphones to the projector, then you're good to go with the good audio solutions. And when you don't want to use it as a monitor, turn it around to the other wall and watch it 100 inch with your gamepad in your hand. So basically, if this set up for you, just let me know at the comment section below. Uh, one other thing that you have, you might have to give up. There is no freezing and G-Sync these sort of in these sort of devices. So you might want to use Winsync, a software solution, a little bit, get rid of uh, the shear effect or a cracking effect in the screen, uh, while the FPS and the uh, hertz levels are not exactly matching with these devices. So you have to lower your FPS. Maybe you have a higher GPU or you have a high-end console, but if you have dropping like a V-Sync style, you're going to lower your FPS volume for your projector. But that's okay for me. If you are playing real-time strategy games, RTS, or RPG games with a lot of character checkpoints and storyline, most of the time, even though if you're playing online, the... RPG games are not going to be requiring a too much of a high response time or hertz levels. They tend to, yeah, if it's there, it's better. But if it's not, you can still get away with it. If you're playing a Tomb Raider style casual games or third person uh, Hitman style games, you don't really need a ultra low latency uh, monitor.
just think again, I'm not against the monitors. But if you're going to extend your setup like one or two monitors, which is basically I recommend many of the people, if you're using computers a lot, then you might want to consider first a monitor, then a projector for your second monitor. It could be an option. And if you enjoy this video, let me know at the comment section below if you want to see more of these sort of setups and the ideas for projectors. And if you haven't watched how you can catch the TV contrast with your projectors and get a huge image in the same room, like a projector setup, definitely watch those videos. And if you want to get creative and create a better contrast level, even in the sunny room or lit room like this, just a couple of watch my videos for ALR style screens, cheap ALR alternatives, what you can uh, do to get the best picture out of your projector kind of stuff, informative tutorial videos. And if you want to learn more, stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. Even though you don't want to write too much of a stuff, just write to say hello because YouTube just looks at the comments and seeing the interaction and getting the channel up the level. So many people, uh, at least more people will see the videos. I hope you enjoy. Hope to see you in the next video. Home Cinema and Tech Review. Why not using a projector? as a monitor, because I'm doing it. Not just because I'm doing it, because it will be fun and you know it. Hope to see you in the next video, bye.